Hi folks, Max from Galaxy Note 3 Root.com. Uh, For those of you who want to add some cool customizations on a rooted Note 3, uh, let me show you some of the stuff you can do with Expo when I'm Expose app. Um, so let me go ahead and show you some of the cool stuff I can do when my screen's off. I can go ahead and hold down the volume up button and that will leave my flash on uh, for 30 seconds or until I unlock uh, my screen here. Um, some of the other cool stuff, uh, I can actually make a call here. Uh, and in, instead of call recording, I've actually enabled the add call here. Now what you can do is, uh, while that's calling, I can go ahead and call another person. All right, And if I want to make a conference call, I just hit merge. And now I made two calls and I made those into a conference call. Um, so that gets rid of the call recording option. I'll show you all of this cool stuff. And you'll see that I've got a circle battery up there. Um, and also I've changed my carrier text uh, from AT&T to high on Android. Now these are just some of the things you can do with uh, Exposed, when I'm Exposed app. Let me show you how to install it. Uh, let's go do this baby. Uh. All right, folks, first, so first thing you'll need to do is download uh, the uh, when I'm exposed app, you can download uh, off the Play Store and this will install the when I'm exposed app. Now to actually run when I'm exposed app, you actually need to get this thing called exposed uh, framework. So go ahead and go to um, your browser and go to Google and type uh, exposed uh, framework. All right. And this will most likely bring you to a page. Uh, there we go, Expose Framework Only, this one here. And go ahead and click on that. I also have a direct link on my site uh, if you guys have a hard time finding it. And basically, there will be a link here somewhere to download it. Uh, let me go ahead and find it for you. Oh, there we go. Download, you can download the latest installer. So you need the Expose Framework installer. Uh, go ahead and click on that. And that will download uh, the Expose installer there. And once that's downloaded, simply go ahead and install it. If it says uh, block, go to unknown sources, check it on, uh, hit OK. Hit install and go ahead and open. All right, and go ahead and hit framework and make sure you hit install update and make sure you hit grant, all right, and hit OK. And go hit the back button and go to the modules and it should now show you ex uh, when I'm exposed. Make sure that's checked on here. If it's not checked on, make sure it's checked on. And now you'll have to actually reboot uh, once, all right? And uh, go ahead and reboot once. And once rebooted, you'll be able to use Exposed, uh, when I'm exposed app to make those changes that I was telling you. And I will show you all the options you can do with Exposed uh, app, when I'm exposed app. Sorry, I keep getting confused. Uh, it, this was actually developed by XDA user Wanam. Uh, he's a very good developer of uh, ROMs. His ROMs are custom ROMs are called a uh, Wanam Light ROM. I'm using on my Note 2 S4. A uh, very good developer, and this is his app, and very nice stuff. So once you reboot it, uh, you should be able to go to Wanam Expose now, and uh, you'll be able to change all of this. Most of this should be working. Um, and uh, if it's checking root access, you should get a, a pop-up here real soon. And I think it's because my phone's booting up and I just installed it. So it's kind of laggy, but I shouldn't be laggy after that. So make sure you hit grant. And there we go. All right, there's a warning screen. Um, basically, most of it works. Uh, some of it might not work, but most of it should work. Uh, there we go. You can hide the battery icon, uh, clock position, AM, PM, style, uh, all of these nice things here. Hide Wi-Fi. Um, here's where you can set your carrier label. You'll see that I'm on AT&T. So I'm going to go ahead and change that to high on Android. Oops. There we go. Uh, and also, let's go to the lock screen. Um, you can also set a uh, carrier label for lock screen. Oh, here's the hidden flashlight settings. Uh, if you want to enable torch uh, light, make sure you s check that on and make sure you set how long you want it on for. 
All right, it's default set to uh, 30 seconds. So I've got um, flashlight working, and this should work out of the box. Um, there you go. Some of these settings you'll have to reboot to make changes, uh, some of the graphical ones. And also go to sound here, and uh, skip tracks with volume keys when your screen's off. Uh, disable camera shutter sound if you want. Uh, also in system, uh, you'll be able to disable scrolling cache. Enable four-way reboot menu. Um, disable tether provisioning. Uh, if you, on certain models like Sprint or T-Mobile or Verizon or AT&T, um, if you have any trouble uh, turning on your Wi-Fi tether because you didn't pay for it, you can try turning this on and that might be able to get you by that. And also NFC behavior, um, you can have it also your NFC working, your, like your Google Wallet, uh, when your screen's off uh, or when your screen's on, but it's the, uh, the lock screen is locked. Um, also enable camera during call, that is a nice option. A wallpaper scrolling, that is nice. And also infinite scroll. I believe the Note 3 actually has infinite scroll. Uh, let me go ahead and actually put a another wallpaper so you can see that I will actually change to that. Let me go ahead and do that. And now it is scrolling. There we go. And continue scrolling. And uh, whoops. Let me go ahead and hit restart. No. I think it changed my home key behavior. Um, go ahead and go back here. And uh, long home key behavior, you can change it to a bunch of different things. Um, also, you can enable uh, kill all apps, uh, kill apps with uh, back button there. And also double home click action. I'm going to go to recent apps. I'm going to change my long home behavior to Google Now. So when I do double now, uh, I might have to reboot. So let me go ahead and reboot real quick. And that should make some of the changes. I mean, there's a ton of things you can do uh, with when I'm exposed app. And uh, you know, it works on the Note 3. I've got the SMN9005, but should work on any rooted Note 3. Um, yeah, and I'll be back shortly when this reboots. Here we go, let's try some of the stuff I enabled, um, such as the extended restart menu. So when I hit restart now, I'll get be able to go straight to download, recovery, reboot, or hot boot. Um, so that is nice. Uh, and uh, what else did I mess with here? NFC behavior, no, I didn't touch that. Uh, another fun thing, oh, multi-window. You can enable all of your favorite apps for a multi-window. Uh, so let's go ahead and choose uh, some of the apps like Pandora that's not supported um, and also I'm gonna go ahead and just choose Super SU just for fun and also when I'm exposed. Uh, let me go ahead and, and uh, reboot to make those changes. Um, that's kind of fun too and in lock screen you can also enable lock screen rotation. Um, you'll see that you can't rotate it but this should be able to uh, enable that. So let's go ahead and try those and also when I was telling you about the add call button um, by default, this phone actually uh, enables call recording, but you can add call button instead and call different people and do a conference call. Um, so I'll be back. Let me go ahead and reboot one more time, and I'll be back. Ooh, Hotboot. Let me see if that works. So Hotboot is basically, it's actually not going to fully reboot, but it's basically a hot reboot. Um, should be a, you know, the Note 3 boots pretty fast, so I probably don't even need it, but you know, I'm just gonna try it and see how fast that is compared to the regular reboot. Um, yeah, it seems to take about the same time. I'm just gonna skip the actual hardware reboot part. Uh, there we go, so I've rebooted. Let me go ahead and check if my lock screen can now be rotated. Ooh, nice. So now lo my lock screen can be locked. Oh, uh, there we go. Um, so that is nice. And uh, I've lost my, I forgot what I did here again. Um, so a lot of, a ton of options, uh, I'll let you mess with it, but most of it works. Also for SMS, um, you can raise the default SMS recipients, MMS, all of this nice stuff. Um, also some security hacks you can do, fake status, uh, system status there, bypass exchange security, uh, enable hangouts through, through cellular network. Um, some more stuff. So very nice stuff. Definitely check it out uh, when I'm exposed. If you want to customize your 
uh, Note 3 without installing a custom ROM. This is a fully stock ROM, um, just root it, you know. Um, definitely check out Exposed uh, Framework along with when I'm exposed app, I'll work it very nice. You can use it on all any of the rooted Note 3s. And as always, if this house helped you uh, customize your UI system on your Note 3, enable cool stuff like the long key uh, flashlight, don't forget to hit that like button here, subscribe button there, and subscribe to my email list at galaxynote3root.com. Uh, we update you once a week uh, with Ram Louis tip stuff like this and more cool stuff. Anyway, I'll see you guys soon. Uh, stay hot on Android. Yeah, this is awesome. Huh.